civil society organizations are critical partners in our common goal to achieve accountability for international crimes. Now more than ever, we must work together to strengthen our common work towards justice. With my dear friend and colleague Ladislav Hamran, President of Eurojust, we are both delighted to launch the guidelines for civil society organizations on documentation of international crimes and human rights violations. This represents a true joint effort, a common commitment to continued partnership from Eurojust and my office with all civil society organizations that are undertaking very important documentation efforts with a view to supporting criminal accountability processes. They also represent a response to many different requests we have received from many different organizations for clarity, for clearer guidance as to what approaches to documentation can be most supportive to action before national and international courts. We cannot emphasize enough how important the work of civil society organizations is in our collective quest for justice. I have seen this firsthand throughout my career as a prosecutor. Many operate in a challenging and dangerous environment. Without a tireless dedication, we would too often find ourselves helpless in front of impunity. Time and again, we have seen how the work of civil society organizations has made a critical contribution to prosecutions for international crimes. With this hands-on guidance, our aim is to further empower and support those civil society organizations collecting information for criminal accountability purposes. We want to make sure that their work can contribute to investigations and prosecutions led at national level or by the ICC. The guidelines are a result of close collaboration with civil society organizations, national prosecutors and international partners. Through this publication, we also seek to highlight how we can work together more effectively to protect the most vulnerable when engaging in documentation efforts. This is particularly important in situations involving crimes or affecting children or victims of sexual or gender-based crimes. In line with this goal, the guidelines contain advice on key areas, including approaching vulnerable persons, how to take a person's account or to take photographs or videos, on how to deal with documents, digital information, and physical items of evidence that may be available for collection. It also deals with storing, safeguarding, and analyzing collected information. They emphasize in particular the importance of ensuring persons are not interviewed several times. This uh, cannot only affect their safety and well-being, but also compromise their willingness to contribute to accountability processes by sharing their testimonies. It's uh, a collective obligation on all of us to be aware of and communicate the risks of multiple approaches to witnesses by different actors. To assist their use in the field, the guidelines also contain a checklist setting out the core principles and practical steps that can be followed. We invite you to consider it as a pocket version of the guidelines, a handbook to be used in the field. While civil society organizations remain entirely independent in their activities, the guidelines seek to offer our perspective on approaches that are most effective in supporting criminal accountability and some that might be less helpful. We want to emphasize that these guidelines are meant as a living tool to be improved upon as we reflect together on our collective experience. No document is perfect and we're confident that this guidance can continue to be improved with your help. We therefore invite all civil society organizations who read these guidelines and seek to put them into practice to share their experiences and provide further input and any questions with us. It is my sincere hope 
that this document can serve as a basis for deepening our dialogue together. Until then, we look forward to continue and strengthen our cooperation with you and all stakeholders. Justice can only be delivered effectively through partnerships. We hope that today can mark a further step in reinforcing our engagement with all civil society partners in our common work towards accountability for international crimes. Thank you.